Hi guys, this is iTouch DIY, in this case iTouch Garage. Um, today we're going to walk through how to replace the rear brake pad of an Infiniti GX35. Um, so I am going to walk you through the steps. Um, it's pretty easy. You can take it to a, sh a shop just want to show you the model so this is the gs35 of infinity uh suv um it should be pretty straightforward um the main piece we get started with is taking out the tire so we'll take off the tire you want to get all your tools your jack um you really need basic tools um just uh a few uh, wrenches and uh, your jack. So to start off, um, yeah, I got this two box just to make the work easy. It's always advisable if you have every tool just in case you get stuck and you need to um, move any nut or screw that is stubborn. You have every piece of tool you have to be able to get the job done. So I have taken the tie off, which is the first piece of the job. The next step is to, this is the brake uh, holder. So yeah, I'll get the right tool and then we take this one off and then we'll take this bolt as well. Once we get it out, we'll get to the brake. This is the brake in there. You can see how worn out it is. All right, so you need number 14. You don't want to use the power tool for this one, so you just want to be careful using this one. All right, we got it out. And then we get go down here. Down here, because of this uh, stabilizer bar, we may need um, a spanner. So let's get the uh, 14, should be able to do it. Okay, so e I think the 916 can also do it. This is the 916. Uh, let's see, yeah. You can hit it just a little bit. Uh, let's see. Let's do it just a little bit. Okay, we got it now. Ugh. Let's try again. Okay. Okay, we have this out as well now we just want to pop this one gently okay you slide it this way now this one the screw may not come out but you can just leave it in and then you get the brakes out now this is the brake pad the other one is behind this is it you see how it's worn out yeah so it's really worn out and needs to be replaced so quickly you can clean around this area now if you want you can replace these metal pieces around the brakes um, they normally include that in a package now let me show you here mine is the original from the manufacturer so I'm going to keep that and it looks good it doesn't show any signs of damage so uh, here's the brake pads um, got it from one of the auto shops so you see how this one has a lot of pad on it it gives you an idea that the other one is worn out. So um, 
we will start by placing this uh, I think this one where the holder comes out here So it's very important that you note the location of each of the pad. So the one with this clip up here, um, if you missed your point or you missed a step, you see how this circle is in here. It tells you that it goes right on here at the back. And then this other one, um, the old one, that goes here. So you see how it has the shape on there yeah so you want to make sure you put it right so this one with no clips it will go here you put the top first and then you put the bottom and then this other one see how it's curved this way you want to make sure you put it right it also goes in there and we have it set okay now we need to put this one on, but we need a clamp to push the uh, this piece back a little bit because of the hydraulics and the brake is worn out. It pushed it, it pushes it out, but we'll push it back in so that it can fit the new brake pads. Okay, so here's the clamps we're going to be using, and you want to use one of the old brake pads. Uh, place it right here. You don't want to place the clamps right on that piece so you put it up here and then you tighten it so as you're tightening it you'll be pushing it back in just slightly you see how it's pushing back in let's bring the camera a little bit closer occasionally it may fall off but we'll try to put it back and do it okay Let's put this again. Okay, now we tighten it. It pushes it back all the way in. Okay, now we got it fully in. So it's now going to be easy to put these brakes back on. Okay. You align it and then you push these screws back in and tighten it. Put this brake back, uh, this uh, screw back in. Okay. All right. Now just get your. Okay, you switch this one because now we are tightening it. And we tighten it all the way. Now this one, you tighten it. Yeah, okay. Now we're good. We have to put the tie back on and we're done. Okay, so now we'll put in the tie back on. And within less than 10 minutes, we change the brakes. So it's good to learn how to do some of these you save yourself a lot of money if you had taken it to the shop man they can charge you a lot to fix this or to replace your brakes Okay guys, thanks for watching. Like and subscribe if you like this channel. And we're done. We'll hit the road for a road test. Thank you for watching.